HDL is good cholesterol and LDL is bad cholesterol. Everyone's heard this, right? But is it actually true? Just like comparing two people, one person is good and the other person is bad is a bit simplistic. Everything is nuanced. The truth is somewhere in the details. And in this video, I'm going to explain LDL using a simple analogy. But before we do that, a word from our sponsor, the subscribe button. I'm aiming to hit 25,000 subscribers by the end of March. YouTube tells me that a lot of the viewers of this channel are not subscribers. So if you've ever enjoyed a video on my channel, I would really appreciate it if you could take the split second to click the subscribe button now and help me get to that 25k goal. Thank you so much. So let's get into it. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to explain LDL using a simple analogy. The basis of my analogy comes from an explanation of LDL by Dr. Paul Mason. I'll put all the relevant links for Dr. Mason below. Dr. Mason's explanations are always really well delivered and easy to follow. But I know for myself, when science or other complicated processes are being discussed, it's much easier for me to conceptualize these things as analogies. So I figure if this analogy helps me, then I hope that it can help you too. It's important to note as well that this analogy and explanation is an interpretation of what I've heard from Dr. Paul Mason, and I may have missed or misinterpreted something. Which is why it's important not to rely on anything on my channel as medical advice. Before changing your diet, your exercise program, or any medications, make sure you consult with your doctor. That said, first things first, LDL is not cholesterol. LDL is a vehicle to transport cholesterol. So let's imagine that LDL is a fire engine or a fire truck. Cholesterol are the firefighters inside that fire truck. The fire trucks are zooming around your body all day, taking the firefighters to get that cat out of the tree or put out those spot fires. And these fire engines are special. They've been fitted with a special sensor. This sensor allows them to use an express tunnel route so that they can quickly return to base after they've been out at an incident. This is a process called recycling. So the fire truck takes some firefighters out. They rescue a few people from burning buildings and they put out a fire. Then they get back in the fire truck to return to base. They get to the entrance of the express tunnel route. The sensor goes off on the fire truck, the gates open, and they speed back to base. One day, a fire truck and its firefighters are out fighting a fire. At the scene, the fire truck's sensor gets damaged by some acid dripping on it. After a couple of hours, the firefighters have put out the fire, they jump back in the fire truck, and they head to the gate of the express tunnel route. When they get to the gate, it doesn't open so they can't get into the express tunnel to return to base. The express tunnel's security system doesn't recognize them because the fire truck sensor is damaged. So the fire truck just has to drive away and spend the rest of its life roaming around. Until it can find some regular tunnel it can come to rest in with all the other damaged fire trucks. Over time, more and more fire trucks receive damage to their sensors and therefore can't get into the express tunnel route. These damaged fire trucks gradually start to accumulate in the other tunnels and eventually start slowing down all the other traffic. Then one day the tunnel is blocked so much the traffic completely stops. In this analogy, the fire trucks are LDL. The firefighters are cholesterol. The express tunnel route is the liver recycling LDL. The acid that damaged the sensor on the fire truck is sugar glycating LDL. And the regular tunnels where the damaged fire trucks end up accumulating is your bloodstream. The traffic jam caused by the buildup of damaged fire trucks is the buildup of damaged LDL in your arteries. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you enjoy my videos and you'd like to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member. Click the join button under this video or the first link in the description. Thanks again, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.